According to ancient Chinese legend, um, around 2600 BC, Ling Lun, a minister to the Yellow Emperor, invented the five notes from the pentatonic scale that is used in traditional Chinese music. After hearing the cry of the legendary phoenix, Ling Lun then crafted pipes from the bamboo shoots, each with a pitch imitating different bird sounds and with a final pitch imitating the phoenix call itself. After hearing these pitches, the Yellow Emperor ordered that he created bells tuned to the pitch of each bamboo pipe. Early Chinese music was thought of to have been a manifestation of the sound of nature and must have a correct form. A, a correct form meaning the music correlates to the five elements of nature and this correct form would bring harmony to it. Contrary to this idea, not all Chinese philosophers agreed with this. Mozu, for example, thought of music as a harmful and unnecessary extravagance. The music that you've been hearing is Jie Shi Diao Yunan, which literally translates as solitary orchid in the stone tablet mode. It is the oldest surviving piece of written Chinese music and was composed around the 6th or 7th century. This piece is usually played on a gu qin, which literally translates as ancient stringed instrument. The new culture movement of the 1920s had a hand in modernizing many traditional Chinese values, including their music. That idea is really exemplified by this image, which shows a Chinese man stepping on a Buddha, the crucifix, as well as old Chinese texts, presumably before shattering it with the hammer he's holding in his hands. Shi Dai Ku is a genre that got its start during this time period. It originated in Shanghai, and this music is kind of like a fusion of traditional folk Chinese music with Western instrument, instruments such as the xylophone or the saxophone. This is thought of as the beginnings of canto pop and mando pop music. Guo Ye is a form of music that became popular around the 20th century. This genre was created from a desire to modernize traditional Chinese music as well as increase patriotism. One way this was done was by creating a Chinese orchestra with a Western symphony structure. Although it borrows the structure from Western music, Chinese orchestras consist of Chinese instruments. Today, the music of China varies from the traditional to Chinese orchestras, and in Shanghai and Beijing, you can even hear some Chinese rock. Canto pop music and mando pop music are the forms of popular music that can be currently heard in China, with canto pop being sung in Cantonese and mando pop being sung in Mandarin. This music borrows elements from traditional folk Chinese music, as well as Western R&B, jazz, and electronic. A good example of the canto pop genre would be this song that's been currently playing by the artist Linda Chung. Its title is The Most Happy Thing. A good example of mando pop that you may currently hear would be this song by the artist Huawei. The title of this song is In an Uncertain World. <laughs>